Now, today we are going to look at how a Uganda nurse can work in Canada. There are many nurses who ask you, how can you work in Canada as a nurse? The process to work in Canada as a nurse is difficult and very complex, but very possible. In this video today, we are going to look at how a Uganda nurse can work in Canada. So if you are new and you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Jacob and basically here on my channel we talk about education, uh, we talk about entrepreneurship and your career guidance. So if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Click a thumbs up so that this tutorial can be promoted to other people like you. So without wasting time, let's dial into our video. Now, to work in Canada as a nurse, one of the biggest requirements is for you to be a registered nurse. You can be a registered nurse with a degree, or you can be a registered nurse with a diploma. With a diploma, you can apply as a licensed practical nurse. Then also, you can be a registered psychiatric nurse. Now, for midwifery, uh, midwifery uh, the program for midwifery in Canada is quite very different from ours. So they are more interested in nurses than midwives. Apart from that, you need to have years of experience and also you need to sit your IELTS exam. So we are going to talk about all that in details. So one of the ways you have to start with when you want to work in Canada is to choose a province. There are many provinces you can choose. The method of licensing in Canada is quite different from what we have here in Uganda. In Canada, like US, each province has its own board of nursing and its own regulations. So you cannot work in all provinces. You need to choose one province in which you can work. There are provinces like Alberta, uh, Manitoba, British Columbia, and Saskatchewan. Now, most Ugandans work in a province known as Saskatchewan. There are so many Ugandans in that province. So if you want to join them, you can apply in that province so you to, to get your registration as a nun. So after choosing a province, the next step for you is to apply to have your documents uh, verified. Now, the organization which deals with document verification in Canada is called NNAS. Like CDFN in the U.S., those who are well versed with the U.S. system, you know that CDFN is the one which verifies documents for nurses. But in Canada, it's NNAS. That organization is the one which deals with document verification if you want to work in Canada from our foreign countries. So that organization, what you have to do is you have to open up an account with them and pay around 650 Canadian dollars for you to have your documents verified. So after logging in and opening up an account with them, what you have to do, you have to fill in your details, your education, background, and each and everything. Make out a printout of the documents. Your documents need to be sent to the Nursing Council of Uganda and also your schools for verification. Your nursing schools have to fill in your points of your transcripts. And once everything is ready, your nursing school has to send all documents to LNS for verification. So another thing which NNS wants to have your report issued is the English language test. Now the English language test here in Uganda can be done at the British Council. Now the score they need is they need 7.5 in listening, they need a 7 in writing, a 6.5 in reading, and also a 7 in speaking. So those are the scores which you have to send to have your report issued. Now after three months when your report is issued, it is sent to the Board of Nursing in Canada where you applied from. And that Board of Nursing is the one which gives you a go-ahead to sit the NCLEX exam. So after your report is issued, the Board of Nursing where you apply does verification to see whether your standards meet those of Canada. If there's anything missing, they will allow you to take a bridge program so that you can satisfy the Board of Nursing. So after the Board of Nursing has satisfied your documents and everything is okay, they will allow you to take what they call an NCLEX exam. So you take a Canadian NCLEX exam. 
and that exam is the one which gives you a license to practice in Canada as a registered nurse. Now the NCLEC exam like in the US is quite a hard exam. You need to read a lot. There are so many books which can allow you to read and so many programs on YouTube. There are so many NCLEX teachers, so you have to really read for the exam. So once you read for the exam, book the exam and pass it, you will be licensed to work in Canada as a registered nurse. So after that, the next thing is for you to immigrate to Canada and work as a nurse. It looks simple, but it's not all that very simple. There are many ways and many immigration programs where you can apply to become a res permanent residence in Canada. This includes express entry system, provisional nominee system, and the Atlantic pilot system. Those are some of the ways, but there are so many ways which you can follow to immigrate to Canada as a nurse. Now, most of these systems, they follow a point-based system where you have to fulfill the points, for example, the express entry. The express entry, they follow your age, they follow job offer, they follow your level of education, they follow IELTS and so many other things like spouses. Now, as you know, the more advanced your age, the lower your points is. The lower your education is, the lower your points is. The lower your English math, the lower your points is. So the process is quite very tedious. And the most challenging thing with most nurses is they don't build enough points for them to qualify for the express point-based system. Now, the best way to immigrate to Canada as a Ugandan nurse is to try the study program system. Now, there are many study program systems which can allow you to go and study and work in Canada. Now, the best study program I can recommend for you as a Ugandan is the Omni College system. Now, Omni College is here in Uganda. They have offices, so it will be very easy for you. So what Omni does for you is to educate you through the Canadian system. They take you through the IELTS. They take you through the NCLEX. And they get you a job offer. They allow you to work and study. And by the time you finish the Omni program for around 12 to 18 months, you will be able to work in Canada as a nurse with ease without struggling on your own. But the biggest challenge with this program is their fees. To go for this program and to get an admission, you need at least 65 Ugandan million shillings. That's quite a lot of money for most Ugandans. But those who are serious and very dedicated, it would be easy for you. If you have that money, that is the best way to immigrate to Canada as a nurse. So in brief, let me take you through the Omni study program and the requirements for those who are interested. We are going to look at the Omni College program for the internationally educated nurses. Uh, first of all, to qualify for their program, these are the requirements you need to go through. And this is all on their forum. If you want to look out more about Omni program, you go on their forum, you log in and find out details of any program. They have various programs for 12 months, 18 months. And basically, this one is a program for 18 months for international educated nurses to easily go and work in Canada. So basically, uh, the requirements for Omni to join their program, you must be a registered nurse in your country of origin that is number one you must have a minimum of 1125 hours in four years yeah so basically in four years that's the amount of hours you need to have worked for to qualify for their program you need to have a minimum score of ielts of six or its equivalent for all those who have done the IELTS exam academic, you know, getting six is not very hard. So that's a, a minimum for them. Then you need to pass their interview. So basically the requirements to join their program are quite not so many and they are easy to get. But the biggest challenge for most students is actually their fees. The program fees, are, tuition fee is uh, is 22,100 Canadian dollars. Then textbooks and materials cost around 1,395 Canadian dollars. 
So if you are to calculate that into and convert it into Ugandan money, that is roughly around 65 Ugandan million shillings. So it's quite expensive for our nurses uh, to get around 65 Ugandan million shillings for them to join this program. But it's worth it because if you look at most of our medical schools, this is the amount of money you need to finish all this program. So if you can get this money, it will be easy for you to join the program and also get a study visa. One of the reasons uh, they don't give people mostly study visas to go and study in Canada is if you don't meet the tuition amount. But if you are, have all the tuition in full, it will also be easy for you to get a study visa to go and join the school. So their program for 18 months include the following medical terminology and communication. So basically this is for those who who didn't have their program in English. Uh, that one helps them very much. Then number two, we have the cell balm test preparation. So basically cell balm is done in Canada. It's more of IELTS program, but this one is specifically in Canada. You have to do it in Canada. So basically uh, this one is also part of their program. They train you through this. Then number three is the Canadian nursing review. So they take you through all the study reviews, simulations, critical thinking, uh, the practical. They take you through their Canadian system of work in the health facilities. Uh, this is in number three. Then number four, they also prepare you to do the NCLEX exam. You know that's the exam you have to do to get a license to work in Canada. So they take you through that all that. They teach you and they prepare you for this exam. Then number five is the co-op education work experience. So on top of studying, they allocate you to a facility where you have to practice and get the skills. You know all these ones build your points to get a Canadian visa. So they put you in a facility where you work and get used to their standards of nursing. So in number six is they teach you leadership skills in nursing. So these are the basic six things you have to study in 18 months and by end of 18 months you'll be able to sit your english test you'll be able to sit your NCLEX test you'll be able to have uh, a job offer and also have uh, a canadian experience of working in a canadian facility so by the time you finish the omni college program you would have built enough points to allow you get a permanent residence visa and work as a registered nurse in Canada. So this is the importance of staking a study program uh, to allow you work and study in Canada. A study program is the easiest because you need you will be having people who will help you. They will take you through the system. The study you get a job offer very easily. So although it's expensive, it's the easiest route for you to work in Canada as a foreign educated nurse. So for those of you who are interested in the Omni program and you are interested in working in Canada as a nurse they have their offices here in uganda at the uganda nurses and midwives union almost near the adavia office all their offices are there you'll find the adavia office the omni program they have their office there if you want more information about how to work in canada as a registered nurse and you want to join their program you can go at the uganda nurses and midwives union there you ask more questions and they'll help you uh, go through their program with ease. Thank you very much for listening to my tutorial.